it started with buying his wife a book for Christmas and ended with him writing a book of his own, a biography of Josiah Henson. This is a man who escaped slavery and went on to help hundreds of others find freedom as well. This book is called The Road to Dawn, and its author, Jared Brock, is here with us in studio this morning. Good to have you here. Thanks for having me. We were saying that this is a book about a man who is a hero in Canadian history, but not somebody we yet know a lot about, but we will after reading your book. Indeed, yeah. Josiah Henson is raised in slavery, and he eventually escapes with his wife and four children and walks 600 miles to freedom in Canada, and then he has an epic second act. And the way you found out about Josiah Henson is you realize he is the man who inspired the famous book, Uncle Tom's Cabin. And yet I'd never heard about it in school, in history class, in culture, nothing. So it sent me on a 5,000 mile journey to retrace his, his pilgrimage from, uh, from slavery to freedom. And uh, you know, he gets to Canada and he doesn't just settle in. He goes back and he rescues 118 slaves. He starts a Freeman settlement that grows to 500 people. He wins a medal at the first World's Fair. He's entertained at Windsor Castle in the White House. And we've lost him somehow. Well, part of the reason we've lost him is that he wasn't able to write any of his own story down. But that's where you come in. You've written his story for him. Well, yeah, I basically, you know, spent two and a half years on this. I looked through over a thousand documents. I spent a lot of time with 150-year-old newspaper articles on microfilm. And I got to visit plantations where he was enslaved. Wow. Some of them are still owned by the slave owner's descendants today. Really? Yeah. Tell us about the treatment that he received and what he did to help others. Yeah, Josiah, he has an overseer who takes a six-foot fence post and he shatters both his shoulder blades and his right arm and he can never raise his hands above his head. So he's bearing the physical marks of his slavery and he actually puts his youngest two sons on his shoulders when he hikes. On his broken shoulders. 900 kilometers, yeah. Just bloody raw back, but it doesn't stop him from rescuing more people. I just got back from a 16,000 kilometer book tour and I actually met a man in Louisville whose ancestors enslaved a family that Josiah helped escape. Wow. History's so close. So how is it that he was so lauded back in history? He inspired this book that set off the Civil War. Mm -hmm. He uh, was you know, invited to come to Windsor Castle. He was given awards at the World's Fair. How is it that he can pass away in Dresden, Ontario, and you and I don't know anything about him? Because he is the real Uncle Tom. Uncle Tom, in his day, was a good thing. It meant Superman, it meant King of Wakanda. It was this mm. selfless, courageous man. But now Uncle Tom means betrayer of your own race. And so we need to have a conversation because none of us have seen the blackface racist plays that transform the character of Uncle Tom. Mm. And so it's time that we talk about racism and begin to reconcile that term and hopefully it becomes a good thing again. How did he help other people? So he came to Canada, he had his freedom. What did he do in order to free others? Well, he, aside from being an early conductor on the Underground Railroad, right? Josiah escapes in 1830 prior to the Underground Railroad being coined. So he's an early conductor helping people get north, but he also starts businesses like the lumber sawmill that employs lots of people and wins this medal at the Crystal Palace in Hyde Park. Wow. You know, he, he's really, he's an entrepreneur. He's one of our nation's first social entrepreneurs. What does that say about Canada when he arrived here and about Josiah himself, that he was able to not only be seen as a man who escaped slavery, but go on to win awards at the World's Fair? I don't know what it says about Canada, to be honest. Like, there was racism in Josiah's own town still. Like, we are not innocent by any way. But it is very different than the American South at the time. Josiah, at least in Canada, was seen as a whole man versus a three-fifths man in America, right? The three-fifths compromise. Yep. Blacks were 60% of whites. Like, that's horrible. Josiah got to be a free man. And when we have real equality, incredible things can happen. And I wonder, how much of history are we missing because people like Josiah weren't given chances earlier? Well, that's what's so fabulous about this book, Road to Dawn, Dawn being the name of the town that he founded. Mm, yeah. Incredible story. Jared, thanks so much for coming today. Thanks for having me.